Have you ever wondered why, as an adult child of an aging parent, would you ever uh, need to know what possibly their top five concerns would be? And, you know, that seems like kind of a crazy question, uh, but, you know, our health care and, and our concerns of our parents is not something that they readily talk to us about. So today during Tuesday Tips, we're going to talk about what are the most uh, five most common concerns of aging adults, uh, what what that entails, and how you can help your aging parents um, actually start that conversation and start addressing some of these concerns. Because if they don't share their concerns with you, you can't help them or support them or help them find resources. So let's go ahead and get started. My name is Pam. I am one of your nurse advocates from Your Nurse Advocate Consulting. My partner, Linda, and I, uh, we are in live in our community forum, uh, our private Facebook group, Speaking Out in the Care of Aging Parents, where we talk about everything uh, caring for aging parents. So we're going to get go ahead and get started. So what are, you know, what exactly are the top five um, concerns? And the number one, as we probably could all agree on, is um, health care. They worry about finances. They worry about um, social isolation. You got to remember, the older they get, the smaller their social circle gets because their family and their friends and people around them begin to pass away. Housing, where are they going to live? Are they going to be able to stay in their home? Are they looking at assisted living? Uh, are they worried about ending up in a nursing home? And the fifth thing is is cognitive function. I think even, even myself, um, I, I guess I'm a beginning aging adult in my in my mid 60s, but I think we all think about, you know, the fear of getting dementia. So let's go ahead and break these down. Let's look at healthcare first. So uh, according to the Hartford, uh, they said 60% of retirees name healthcare expenses as their top concerns. Uh, Fidelity Investments they threw out this, um, I think, amazing figure. Uh, it's a staggering amount of money that an average 65 year old couple can expect to spend over $285,000 on healthcare expenses throughout their retirement. And yeah, that's, that's something to be worried about because, you know, that could be all or a good chunk of the money that you've been able to put away for those golden years. But, you know, it's not just about the money, you know, um, they want to stay active. They want to stay healthy. That means, you know, they need to have the right kind of um, healthcare providers, uh, healthcare professionals, such as financial planners to help them navigate their finances, maybe an estate planning attorney to help uh, sort out um, their estate, their home uh, property that they may have. And then there's also nurse advocates like ourselves that help with the advanced healthcare planning, such as these things that we're addressing today. So they can also help plan for the future uh, so that your aging parents can make informed decisions about their healthcare and finances, and then make them, make them known to their adult children, because that's one of the best ways they can avoid being a burden on um, our, their children is to be able to have these decisions in place. So people, you know, most, a, a lot of adult children are afraid to make the wrong decisions and so by having these things sorted out, that only takes away some of that um, anxiety. So uh, finances would be next. So this is another top concern for many aging adults. Uh, we worry about having enough money to live comfortably for the rest of our lives, as well as saving you know, enough for emergencies, such as maybe needing a long-term care, such as assisted living or a nursing home. You know, it, retirement planning can be very daunting. Again, this is where um, you would seek out a, a financial advisor um, or a estate planning attorney to help um, with these informed decisions. The next thing that is on the list, the third thing is a social isolation. And this has just skyrocketed since COVID, where people, we were discharging patients from the hospital into the nursing home, and they were having to quarantine, not only in the facility without having visitors, but they had to quarantine in their room, isolated from everyone in the nursing home 
for um, for a minimum of 14 days. So they'd have to eat alone. They'd have, unless they, you know, had a roommate, but social isolation has really become a big issue over the last few years. And it's really important for them to stay connected to their communities, whatever they can do if they're um, to assist them with transportation or checking out a local senior center in your area, places where they can, they can meet people, play cards, games, you know, just socialize. Because like I said before, you know, the older they get, the smaller their social circle gets. Um, the next one would be, the fourth one would be housing. Um, many people, you know, ideally all of us would love to live out our golden years in our home. And if that is what your aging parent wants, then just the discussion needs to uh, be started as far as, well, how do we make that happen? happen? What resources will we need? Are they willing to allow people to come into the home? Is there another family member that would take them in? Uh, maybe would they consider assisted living? Can they afford that? What what resources are available and, and what are their financial resources that could accommodate their, their choice of living style in their golden years? So again, not that you can come up with all the answers, but it's very good to just start these conversations so that the planning process can, be, can begin. Finally, we're going to talk about cognitive function. Everyone is concerned. They don't want to get Alzheimer's. They don't want to get any form of dementia. And this is uh, really, you know, a top concern uh, for aging adults. So according to Alzheimer's Association, over 6 million Americans over the age of 65 have Alzheimer's disease. That's staggering. And if you've been part, dealt with a loved one with Alzheimer's disease, you know, that is, that is a heart wrenching, heart breaking, um, just a hard disease to watch a loved one go through, especially when they get to the stage where they're not recognizing family members. Maybe they're not recognizing their spouse. It becomes extremely difficult. There's many stages. There's many, um, you know, people could have Alzheimer's for a few years or they could have it for many years. It just depends on how, how the stages advance with every, you know, particular individual. Uh, requires just an exhaustive amount of resources uh, to keep them safe. And sometimes the, the tough decision is needed to be made to maybe they have to go to a memory care unit or if they do want to stay at home for as long as safely possible, just what resources we need to put in place. So these are the top five concerns. Um, I'm going to uh, post some resources in the description of the video when I get that posted. So There'll be other resources for you to reach out along these lines. And we will see you back next Tuesday for Tuesday Tips. So I hope this has brought you some value, value um, you know, brought up some talking points that maybe we can begin the discussion with your aging parents. And we will see you back here soon. Take care.